Hey, welcome to my video. I thought I'd make a proper like serious video because I haven't made a video in a while. And yeah, I'm going to be talking about self-harm again because from my last video, I got so much positive feedback. I've helped so many people, which is really weird in my head that I've helped people, but it means so much to me. So I thought I'd make another one because I didn't talk about everything in my last video. In my last video, I said I've stopped because I stopped for six months, so I thought I was better and I thought I was over it. But, like a year later, like now i've been doing it again like about a couple of months ago this time was the worst i've ever done it because i have work and stuff it was my own fault because i did it in such a visible place but i like cut my arm there and it's scarred really badly and uh, the only way i can hide it is wearing loads of bracelets or putting plasters over it when my mum found out i was doing it again she took me to the doctors and the doctors um prescribed i can't say the word but prescribed me on antidepressants and, and taking them it did help but the only downside about it is for me I didn't have any emotions like I wouldn't be sad which is a bonus I wouldn't be happy I couldn't laugh at anything I wouldn't cry at anything I was pretty much like Kristen Stewart <laughs> but now I've come off them I do feel sad sometimes but don't we all but now I feel happy like on Christmas like I don't know why but I felt so happy I'm not telling any of you to come off them if you are on them. That is not what I'm saying at all, but I'm just saying they didn't help me. Well, they did, but I feel better without them. One of my friends uh, want to know one of my self-harming stories, but they don't want to be featured in the video because their Twitter's private. But they asked what was, um, I don't know what was the question. Could you tell about one of your honest experiences with it, with self-harming and, uh, and how you've handled it? Well, I was at college, I've got a new thing with my paranoia. I, just, I can't stand people looking at me and I can't stand my reflection. So making this video is very hard. But yeah, I was at college and everyone was looking at me and I was paranoid about the way my hair was looking because I hate my hair. And in my head, in my brain, I think I've got like, the worst hair in the world, but I know I haven't. Yeah, I brought to college a Stanley knife with me. I took it out of my bag and I ran to the toilet and I started cutting myself really bad. Like, this is the worst I've ever done it. There's blood everywhere. I ran out of the toilet because I was panicking about all the mess. I went to another toilet and cleaned up myself. Luckily, there was no one around. But yeah, when I started to calm down a bit, I walked back up to do the toilet and I stood outside the door for ages because I was like, okay, I can go in, I can go in to clean up the mess because I, I didn't want anyone to see it. I didn't want the cleaners to clean it up. But when I was about to open the door, a cleaner walked out and she looked at my, uh, my shoes, there's some blood on my shoes and she gave me the dirtiest look ever. So if anyone's watching this and they feel like they need to cut or if they feel really depressed, always talk to someone, it really does help because I've got a very, a very good friend at the moment who I can just talk to whenever I feel down or whenever I feel like cutting and he always helps me and I always manage to stop doing it. And even if you don't have anyone to talk to or if you don't feel comfortable enough talking to anyone, you can always tweet me, you can always message me on Twitter, you can follow my uh, Facebook and message me there I, I always answer back it makes me feel really good people want to come to me to talk and it just makes me feel happy and it one it makes me stop feeling so alone and hopefully it makes you guys feel like that you're not alone either yeah i asked on twitter like ask me some questions about self-harm and trish asked why is it so hard to recover it's weird because i don't actually know it's like i guess it's like a drug you just get addicted to it and it's all like you think about doing and it's the only way you can calm yourself down and make yourself feel happier be X Skept Case asked, um, what's the best way of overcoming it? And like I said um, before, um, the best way for me is talking to someone and just try and think positive. I know that's hard to do sometimes. Uh, Brett Hadley asked, actually a question, how has social media helped and how does it continue to help you? It helps me because I know there's people out there who are like me. I know people have watched my last video and it's helped them because they all come to me and say how much it's helped them. And that helps me because it makes me feel positive about myself and I feel good about myself and that's what, that's another way I stop feeling so down. So yeah, that's how social media helps. I couldn't live without the internet, literally. Um, that's it. I just thought I'd make another video. Sorry if it isn't good. Sorry if you were just sitting there bored listening to me ramble. I thought I'd... I'd share i thought i'd share it and i really do hope none of my friends watch this but thanks for watching please subscribe follow me on twitter always talk to me feel like you're gonna you know do something bad thanks for watching see ya